Okay, so for this problem, we're just dealing with the concept of reinvestment rates, right? So the thing is that uh, for reinvestment rates, we always have to, whatever scenario that is given on the first, we always have to reinvest some sort of portion into a future value equation because reinvestment involves the future value concept. And after we find the future value, we always add on the original par. So those are usually the steps that we need to do involving reinvestment rates. And I'll show you what I mean. So for this one, it says uh, the insurance company needs to pay out a million. And to fund the liability, the company immediately purchased four year, 5% annual coupons totaling 822,703 of par value. Okay, so we need to purchase, uh, we need to uh, create a reinvestment uh, future value equation that's based upon the amount of coupons that the company purchases. So it, they give us a par value. So we need to find out the amount of coupon given. So to do that, we always take the par value multiplied by the coupon rate. And then we end up getting 41,135.15. So that is like the coupon that happens like every year, I suppose. So we're going to reinvest that amount. We're going to uh, use the future value since reinvestment is a future value concept. And it also says that it remains constant at 5%. Uh, through 2017, so four years, right? And so now consider two reinvestment rates uh, for scenario A and B, right? So for A, uh, we would have to compute this uh, equation, but the thing is, is that interest rates actually drop by 0.5%. So what is five, the original 5% minus 0.5%? 4.5%. And then for B, uh, it says that uh, interest rates increase by 0.5%, right? So then the interest rate that we would need to use is 5.5%, right? So now let's compute these both scenarios. And then, like I said before, after we compute like a reinvestment rate future value equation, we always have to add on the par value on top of that. And then we're going to see whether it is a profit or a loss to pay out the million dollars. Okay. So what we're going to do is that we're going to use the TBM. So 41135.15 is the payment. Uh, 4.5 is the interest rate. 4 is the number of years. 0 is the uh, present value. Compute future value. Okay, so we're going to get 175. Nine eight four point zero three. Now for this one, we're gonna do uh. Well, let's also add on the par. So we add the par of eight twenty two seven zero three, and then we end up getting um five nine eight four point zero three nine uh plus uh, 822.703, and then we end up getting 998.687.03. Okay, so let's look at the million. I see that there's a loss occurring here because this is a little less than a million. So we know that for scenario, we could cross this one out. We could also cross this one because we know that is not exactly zero. But let's subtract both amounts to see how much of a loss it incurs. Uh, it incurs a loss of 1,312.97. So the only uh, answer that is making sense right now is this. So I assume that it's answer choice C. But let's go over scenario B so we can uh, go over... Um, more of this concept. So I have my calculator here, the reinvestment 41135.15 as the payment 
five, uh, point five as the interest rate, four as the number of years, uh, zero as the present value, compute future value. So it's one seven eight six one nine dot seven eight. Right now, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to add on the par value on top of that. We end up getting like a wheel, we end up getting a, a million and then 1322. So that is a gain, actually. Let's subtract that by a million. It uh, comes out to one thousand three hundred twenty-two and seventy cents. So again, same over here. So that's why the answer choice is D.